Hi all, welcome to Panthek. create an 1D array. So 1D, it is nothing but single dimension. So through that single dimension array, now we are going to create. So for that, first we have to provide the variable. ARR, or provide anything, equal to, so here I am getting it as, as NP. So NP dot array, is in bracket, 1 comma, 2 comma, 3. Print AR. So it takes uh, time to connect. So whatever we have given inside that uh, list over there, and uh, this is that particular symbol for list, that has been taken it in the form of array. So normally, if we go for this uh, data science or machine learning, deep learning, whatever the data we are getting, that particular data here, we have to convert into an array. So after converting into an array only, we will be able to move for further proceedings. Okay, so yesterday we have seen matplotlib to visualize that complete data. Today we are going to see that numpy which is going to convert the data. So whatever the data we are providing, let it be in uh, CSV, images, let it be anything. So all the data we have to convert into an array. Even a matrix is also uh, designed in the form of array only. So with that particular array only, here we will be able to create these applications. Okay, so this is known as one dimensional array. Similarly, if we add, so this is known as two dimensional array. So two cross three. So in this way only here, each and every arrays will be implanted. So this is nothing but providing the input of array because whatever the data we provide towards the system, uh, just uh, think as you are uh, one of the consumer of some sort of product. So from that particular product like softwares, you will be entering the data and you must be thinking how each and every data is converted into string or into array. So for that software, they have given that particular specification. So in this way, only the softwares will be working. So in case in future, we are trying to develop any of the machine learning based software means definitely the array is needed over there because the input, whatever you provide, therefore it will be uh, taking it as uh, that particular kind of function. Okay. So here, if we want to go with that uh, array means, so from that, how we will be able to take only that particular portion. So here I am providing array of zero. Now what it will be printing? It will be printing only, this moment. Yes, Sridharan sir, uh, how to get multiple inputs for int variable in a short manner? You can use while loop. Now without loop, there is no chance for getting multiple inputs because uh, according to the programming, if you do not enter the loop means single time execution. If you enter the loop means based on the loop condition, it will provide you the n number of iteration. Yeah, split we can use for string, but this is completely different from string. Um, similar method for int, it is a little bit difficult. According to me, it is not possible at all. So here, if I am taking uh, the splitting means in this way only, if I am providing 0, 1, then here it will be printing it as 2. Then if I print it as three means, sorry, two. Okay, so here I did not give any multi dimensions over there. Here there are only two. And after that, if I am providing it as one of one means, it will be printing that four. One of two, it will be printing that five. So like this kind of splitting printed can be done. So in this way, like uh, creating the arrays and columns. So like the kind of printing or uh, splittings can be done as easy as possible. So now, if you want to go with uh, three-dimensional array means, you have to create another two brackets. So here, I'm going to enter. So here, I have to change the dimension. So this will be the three-dimensional array, three cross three. So here, if I want to print uh, each and every array means zero comma one comma one. I'm changing into zero comma zero. So here only, I will be getting one like printing 0 through 0th column and uh, the position is 0 or 1 or 2. 
because uh, this is considered as 0 1 and 2 again 0 1 2 again 0 1 2 so these are the three positions for each and every array whichever we have so once whenever we go for like that kind of purpose here if you want to select only the specific data we have to mention this map so 0th row 0th column from there which position okay so that position wise it is taken in this horizontal method only whereas the column and uh, row it is normal so if i provide two 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 so it is out of bounds so this is also out of bounds okay so like this only here we will be able to get it now i have received the eighth position seven six okay so like this sorry six okay so like that if i reduce it uh, each and every uh, rows or columns like that means i will be able to get it now this particular uh, data okay it is similar to what mr aman thakur has created so aman thakur has created completely in the way of getting uh, this complete data uh, in a multi dimension over there by using for loop now the rows and columns are not sufficient it is actually completely it is greater that is the reason because here we have made it as the whole bracket so here you can see it is made it as whole bracket so from that bracket it can be taken as only zero this entire bracket only will be taking as zero again i am repeating this is taken as zero zero one two so like that only that particular matrix is being created that's what i have said starting if you want to create that particular uh, second order and uh, first order means copy this paste it now now it will be sufficient for this okay watching our if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel